Floyd Little, a scrappy kid from the streets of New Haven, Connecticut, short and bow-legged, he barreled onto the football scene at Syracuse wearing the iconic number 44 of Jim Brown and Ernie Davis. His tenure with the Denver Broncos was short, but he lifted the team and the city. He stayed there and then began a patient 30-year wait to get into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The class of 2010, the wait was worth it. His face was full of commitment and joy, the anger gone. And he was one of the most positive and popular Hall of Famer teammates. The bowed legs, the flowing moves, the easy rhythm all add up to the fact that a little goes a long way. Simply known as the franchise, Floyd Little's dazzling moves in the late 60s are what first piqued fans' interest in the Broncos. And with the exciting Floyd Little outflanking the enemy, this would be their year. Number 44, Floyd Little is quick enough to veer outside. But Floyd gained 57 yards on the drive. A star in the making, Little had the personality to boot. Boston was a good day for me. I think, uh, I think our offense was put together in such a way that we couldn't do anything wrong. Number 44, a number that would later be retired by the Broncos, landed in Denver in 1967 as the sixth overall pick. Three-time Syracuse All-America Floyd Little headed the Broncos selection list. And time would prove that the Broncos picked wisely throughout the draft. Little led the Broncos in rushing for seven consecutive seasons, the longest streak in franchise history and also claimed the NFL rushing title in 1971. 1,133 yards and six touchdowns is impressive. Over the span of his nine-year career, the only pro to rush for more yards was O.J. Simpson. To gain over 1,000 yards rushing is the golden accomplishment of a runner in pro football. Little was a three-time Pro Bowler and twice appeared in the AFL All-Star Game. His franchise records in carries rushing yards and rushing touchdowns lasted around three decades and would not be bested until Terrell Davis came along. Floyd is all world to all Denver and out of this world to empty handed tacklers. In 1984, he was a member of the original Broncos Ring of Fame class. And although he had to wait longer than necessary, in 2010, he was enshrined into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I am truly blessed to be standing here on this day to celebrate my journey as a person and as an athlete. I only wish my mom and dad were here to celebrate with me. I know my mom is looking down on me today and she's saying, Floyd, I'm proud of you. You've done good. After that moment, you could rarely find Little in public without proudly wearing a Hall of Fame hat or sometimes even his gold jacket. But one of the great things about being in the Hall of Fame is I can't get fired, they can't cut me, and they can't trade me. To fully understand the franchise's impact on the franchise, when it was all said and done, fans carried Little off the field at the end of his final game, the type of glory reserved only for those who leave behind a legacy like his.